pants. Oh, I wanted those pants. Love those pants. I Why don't you, you should have those pants too. Um, her career yeah. has only gone up, up, up from her early days to now. Multi award winning, 100 million records sold worldwide. There is mm. no one like her. And finally today, we get to see Cheryl Hickey's exclusive sit down with the global superstar Shania Twain. I know. Yes. I'm so excited. I know you've interviewed her before, but I hadn't ha had the opportunity to do it. And also, I have to say, this is the first time you and I've <laughs> shared a screen since 2017. Yeah. That's a good, well, that's a good, you, yeah, oh, get a little yes. motion. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and now you have they, reading glasses. They, they, I have reading glasses <laughs> now, and, um, but BC has a much better desk. Than they we do. do. This, this is a great desk. It goes this way down there desk. and way over there. That's I know. Like, and like, we have Shania. You had never interviewed Shania before. No. You got to interview Shania. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots of people interview Shania. But this was my <laughs> first time, and she did not disappoint. And, of course, this is a huge year for her. Right. She is the newest judge on Canada's Got Talent. Again, it is a brand new year with Cardinal Fischel, yeah. Catherine Ryan, Howie Mandel. It's a $1 million year. Oh, courtesy of right? Rogers. Yes. Courtesy of Rogers. And if anybody gets the golden buzzer, yeah. $25,000 from CIBC. Wow. Can you imagine? Wouldn't that be just life changing? Please tell me when you were down there on set, you, you hit that golden buzzer just to see how it. I couldn't feels. even find the couldn't buzzer. Find the buzzer. Go but ahead. I was there with the family, and we did get to watch one of the tapings, and it was so fun to see the crew and Lindsay and the judges and all the acts. And before all of that, though, I had a really great opportunity to go backstage with Shania for a really intimate one on one. So take a look. Can't wait to see it. So we're here in Niagara Falls for Canada's Got Talent, you know, the biggest talent show here in Canada, the biggest showcase. What does it feel like to be the newest judge on the show? It's so exciting. First, it's great to be in Canada and seeing what Canada's got um, for talent. There's always been a very high ratio of talent come out of Canada, like world-class yeah. talent come out of Canada. It's Really exciting to be a part of the process of discovery. Roger's prize this year is $1 million again. What do you think a prize like that would have done for you back in the day? I started when I was a child. Yeah. And so for me, if I had been a child standing up on that stage, that million dollars would have gone to uh, upgrading the quality of our life as a family. We wouldn't have been um, having to move so often because we couldn't pay our hydro bill or electricity bill. We would have always had food in the cupboards. Yeah. Everyone can use a million dollars, but what would you do with this million dollars? Exactly. And what does it mean to you and to your life? Yeah. Um, I mean, a lot of people are not necessarily in the situation I was in when I was young, a young, strong, struggling artist, and they want to give it to charity or they want to give it to um, something in their life they relate to, whether it's uh, someone in their family struggling with cancer, so maybe they want to donate. There's always moving and meaningful um, stories that we get to share in. That don't impress me much. Your songs have been inspiring so many of today's artists, like Beyonce, Taylor Swift, Sabrina Carpenter recently was, was paying homage to you here in Toronto. What does it feel like to have such an incredible um, influence on these really wonderful, talented women who recognize your brilliance at the same time as they're figuring out who they are? But I do understand and relate to uh, needing inspiration from talent that has come before us, yeah. especially women, because the music industry is still primarily men in the room. And I, and that's just in general. So I do know the feeling of looking to up to somebody like a Gladys Knight, Dolly Parton. Yeah. It's a compliment to me when I hear that back from uh, the young artists now. Yeah. How is it that you have such a positive relationship or philosophy around aging? Where does that come from? And how can we all as a society, especially as women, get a little bit more of that? Every day since I was 42, I'm like, I'm going to live one year longer than my mother did. Right? Yeah. So that's a bonus. That is like, yes. 
I, I'm going to see one more year of life than, than my mother did. I'm going to experience things that are happening in the world. I don't take any birthday for granted. I celebrate my son's birthdays for me. I said that. You know, I, was like, I do too. I do too with right? my kids. Yes. Like, I get to see another year of my son's life. Yeah. Wow. You know, and that is how I feel about aging. One thing that is just your proudest moment to date. My proudest moment to date is is uh, making enough money with my talents to fulfill my promise to myself as a child. That yes. feels so good. Wow. I always, I said to myself when I was a kid, if I ever make enough money, I'm going to help people like me and my family. Uh, and the first uh, giving back was to food banks. Yeah. Because that was one of the, that was a really tough thing when we were kids. I'm, I'm just like, ah, you know, well, we're not going to have a turkey for Christmas. And I remember you telling teachers that your lunch was back home and that your was in your locker. You would make up reasons. I would lie about my lunch. Right. Yeah. Because if I didn't have a lunch or if my lunch was yeah. Yeah. a mustard sandwich, which it often was. You know, we worry about humiliating kids, you know, through bullying and stuff like that. I mean, and that the food is insecurity very is so big. But to yeah. be humiliated just because you don't have a lunch, yeah. that's, the, that's, the low, that's the bottom of the yeah. barrel there, right there. So being able to give back, making more um, than I need to feed myself, I'm going to help feed other people. And that, that's where I started giving back right there at the very base. And it feels really good. That is my proudest moment. Yeah. Well, you are such a treasure and an inspiration and just such an incredible person to get to spend time with today. We're so grateful that you took the time. And we're so excited to see you on Canada's Got Talent as a judge. Um, Shania Twain, thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you. And Sapphire, you did great. Right. Sapphire did great. <laughs> oh, awesome. so good. I mean, you Cheryl. know when anyone brings a dog, yeah. I'm all in, yeah. right, Sapphire? Cute. And Shania is an absolute sweetheart. She's such oh. a legend. Yeah, insane. Now, the, the crumping of your hair, I love okay. that look. I love okay. the crumping. Meredith can back me up yeah. on this. It's not called crumping of the hair. Oh. It's a crimper. A crimper. It's a wave. It's not a crumper. You know what? We're going to get there, Rick. We're going to get there. At least I didn't say frizzy. At least right. you didn't know. <laughs> we no, will get there. You didn't say that. But you know what I will say? We're going to have more, more of the Shania Twain interview coming up soon. I can't tell you when, but it's going to be soon. Um, you so did much such more. a great job. Cheryl. So did you. It was yeah. nice to share nice a screen to, with you again. Can I see your readers? Uh, the readers, yes. Yeah. Course, how, yeah. How much can you see? I wear those see? for construction on the weekends too. Oh wow. So, yeah, when I'm, so oh, you, they look pretty good on you actually. Thanks, yeah, Rick. Yeah. <laughs>